Another PowerPoint add-in that I find myself using all the time is QR code. Now, I think most of us these days are used to scanning QR codes on our phones to go to specific websites. You might have been to a restaurant where you scan a QR code and it takes you to their menu. Well, we can add QR codes into our PowerPoint presentations. And again, this is a super useful thing to add because if you want to direct your meeting participants or your audience, maybe to your website or to your YouTube channel, or maybe to your Twitter account, instead of them having to write down your YouTube channel address or your Twitter name, they can simply scan the QR code on their phone and it will take them directly there. So I've started adding these to all of my presentations. So let's take a look at how it works. Now, again, this is very simple. We just need to go to the insert tab and get add-ins. And in the search bar, I'm just going to type in QR and let's click on search. And it's the top one just here, QR for office. So let's click on add. We're going to say continue to agree to the licensing terms. And you'll notice that a QR for office pane opens up on the right hand side. And this really allows us to customize what this QR code looks like and where we're directing people to. So at the top here, this is where we type in the web address of the site we want the QR code to go to. You can see here from our list of drop downs, we can go to sites that start with HTTP, HTTPS. We can even add a mail to link. So if we want to direct them to our email, we could use this one. Now I'm going to just type in an imaginary website for secret adventures. So let's select HTTPS and we're just going to say secret adventures dot com. Now, as you type that in, PowerPoint updates this QR code. We can even customize the look and feel of our QR code as well, so we can get it to match a little bit better with our presentation. So I don't necessarily have to have a black QR code. I could choose something completely different. So maybe I want to go for a green one. I can even customize the background. So maybe I want a black background. I'm going to stick with white and I can choose the size as well. I can drag this slider up or down and I can set my error correction levels. Now, I like to keep mine on medium. This is just really accounting for any mistakes that have been made in the web address. So once you have this looking as you want it to look, just click on insert and it's going to put it into your slide. So I might want to put this on the contact us page down in the bottom corner so that if anybody quickly wants to jump to our website. They don't have to worry about noting down the URL. They can simply scan the QR code with their phone. So QR codes, a great little add in for PowerPoint. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.